Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to the new video. In this video, we are going to learn about the 3 factorial and subfactorial 3. So, what is 3 factorial? We know that 1 factorial is equal to 1 and 2 factorial is equal to 2 into 1, that is 2, and 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1. So, we know that 1 factorial it means it has 1 permutation 2 factorial it means it has 2 permutations 2 into 1 and 1 into 2 or you can say in other words a b and b a for 3 factorials we have 6 permutations because the answer is 6 so that can be a b c a c b b a c and b c a c a b and c b a so these are total 6 that's why the answer is 6 and now we go to the subfactorial 3 so what is subfactorial so actually the subfactorial exclude any permutation where the object is in its original position So the original position of A is first position, we will exclude that permutation. The B is second position, we will exclude that permutation. The C is third position, we will exclude that permutation. So we are only left with these two permutations. It means the answer of subfactorial 3 should be 2 because it has the two permutations. So the subfactorial N is equal to n factorial to sum of n and k equal to 0 where minus 1 power k divided by the k factorial so here in this case subfactorial 3 equal to 3 factorial to sum of 3 and k equal to 0 and minus 1 power k divided by k factorial so here we write subfactorial 3 equal to 3 factorial and in the bracket we have minus 1 power k where k is equal to 0 divided by k factorial plus minus 1 power k where k is equal to 1 divided by the k factorial plus minus 1 power k where k is equal to 2 divided by the k factorial and in the same way minus 1 power k where k is equal to 3 divided by the k factorial so subfactorial 3 equal to 3 factorial and here we have minus 1 power 0 instead of k divided by 0 factorial plus minus 1 power 1 divided by 1 factorial plus minus 1 power 2 divided by 2 factorial plus minus 1 power 3 divided by the 3 factorial so this is factorial and now we solve it sub factorial 3 equal to 6 and here we have 1 over 1 plus minus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 <laughs> sorry this is minus 1 and this is plus and plus minus 1 over 6 so subfactorial 3 equal to 6 over 1 plus minus 6 over 1 minus 6 over 2 plus minus 6 over 6 so we are going to simplify it subfactorial 3 equal to 6 minus 6 plus 3 and minus 1 therefore subfactorial 3 is 2 because it has the two permutations thanks for watching